Well, that's uh, Benjamin and Khoto out alongside our camera operator, Guilmesi Ditinti in Qatar. Joining us now from two different fan bases in Gauteng is Vuyo Makobo. He's with the Argentinian fans in South Africa. And Gwena Marbello is out in Bryanston with the French Chamber of Commerce and Industry as the fans of the defending champions get prepared to do something that they did four years ago and they're thinking that they're going to celebrate. Uh, Quena, can you tell us a little bit about uh, how the vibe is building in Bryanston? Well, thank you very much, Valen. And of course, uh, this is going to be a big game. As you heard from Hotso, that there's a potential of history being made in this uh, final. In that uh, it is a messy final, as many are calling it. But the French team, they've done it before. They know what it takes to win a World Cup. Even though they came into this one with some of their key players not available for them, they'll be looking at making sure that uh, they make history in their own right. You look at players like Kylian Mbappe at his very very young age, he'll be looking at, uh, you know, dominating and upstaging his uh, teammate from Paris Saint-Germain. But here in Bryanston, if you can see we have just behind me here, I mean, most of the fans that are here are clad in their um, French colours. You can see it also just behind the, the big French flag that is hanging here. They are all anticipating what looks like it's going to be an upset, as many are saying. Pandits are saying that this is definitely a Messi final. This is a World Cup that has been made for Messi, as it were. But will the French be, uh, you know, going out there just to lie down and let them win? I don't think so. They also have history to make, as I made uh, that um, uh, in recent history, no team has won back-to-back -back World Cup. So an opportunity for the French to go out there and dominate and upset the apple cart. We'll be talking to some of the fans a little bit later on just to find out uh, what their thoughts are and especially about the fact that uh, many were not giving the French team an opportunity or a chance, as it were, in that uh, some of the key players, Karim Benzema is not around, N'Golo Kante not around, but then they rose to the occasion and here they are on the verge of history. Thank you, Vaila. Yeah, they certainly are. Thank you very much, uh, Quena Malbello. And as much as they had injuries going into the tournament, they've also had a succession of injuries during uh, the tournament, uh, which uh, they have managed somehow alongside their coach, Didier Deschamps, uh, to just breeze through. What do the Argentinians in South Africa have to say? They are feeling ever so confident uh, because they say that uh, many people have uh, taken Argentina under their wing because they want the fairy tale, Vuyo, for one Lionel Messi. <laughs> Definitely, Valen. I think it's also exactly the same case here at Marx Park in Johannesburg. When you kind of get a sense when you speak to the fans in terms of how are they feeling going into this match, they're already calling for Argentina, of course, to, to go on and win this one. And especially for one character in the team, which is Lionel Mercy, who possibly would then be buying out out of this, uh, to, uh, out of this um, International World Cup playing on his final one. This is one title that has eluded him for years in his illustrious career. And many of these fans here are calling or are praying that Messi will finally get the chance to lift this trophy and sit with one of the greats in the world who has stood and played at a World Cup or played football in their careers, the, the likes of Pele in Brazil and the likes of Maradona in Argentina. So that's an opportunity for him, but also for the Argentina team as well, who've played such a uh, massive, uh, have been dominating in most of their matches, especially when you look at how they started. They didn't start in, a, in, in the best of ways. They lost to Saudi Arabia in their opening match, which was a shocking result, of course. But since then, they've been able to bounce back, beat the likes of Australia, uh, push aside the likes of uh, Poland as well. So until they reach the stage in the final, they are chasing their uh, third World Cup. And of course, it's a huge one. It's a huge one for these fans. It's one they're feeling so much pride for and one that they are feeling that they're going to be taking this one. They do understand as well, like when I mentioned it, that it's not going to be an easy feat because France themselves are also chasing their own mission. And that is, go, of course, winning the title back to back and becoming one of the three teams that has won it before like Italy and Brazil back in the day so they're chasing that record as well and of course with the setup of players 
that they have. They might have not have the best of players going to this tournament, the likes of Popka, uh, Angolo Cantes, but the ones that have been given the chance have put up their hands and stood up uh, to be counted for the future. You know, the likes of Olivia Giroud as well, and if you, uh, you, you know, they've stood up for, at this tournament. So these fans understand that it's not going to be an easy feat in this final, but one that they are confident that the Argentina team, Lionel Scolari, will be able to lead his team in this final dance, finally to glory and not just for the team uh, glory for uh, Messi as well they're feeling very confident around me they're already setting up with their jerseys as well and maybe I'll ask uh, just uh, a camera operator and my colleague Jim just to look in if you look back there I'm not sure if he's able to zoom in um, there's two gentlemen of course that are standing in front of the picture there's a huge poster of Diego Maradona there and that's one of been the highlights because there's been that comparison to see if Lionel Messi can reach that Turner that Diego Maradona was able uh, to reach. Of course, Argentina denied Croatia a second successive appearance in the final with a 3-0 victory in their semi. A sixth World Cup final is now on the cards for, for them, having won it in 1978 and 1986. So, three events have, of course, ended in tears for Argentina, including the 2014 edition, and they could now equally Germany's unwanted record of losing a joint high four cup finals. But scoring two goals in every game since the opening match day brings optimism for many of the fans. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, for the seven-time Ballon d'Or winner, which is Lionel Messi, this is of course a big one. He's not going to be able to do it alone. The likes of Nicolas Otamendi, Enzo Fernandez and Julian Alvarez will need to step up and help him along this final dance to make sure that Argentina becomes the supreme team in this final, in this 2022 uh, FIFA World Cup. And it's back to you in studio. Vuyam Akroba out in Marks Park, Quinn Marbella out in Bryanston as they speak to the Johannesburg fans from both France as well as Argentina. The World Cup final always brings up those memories of what happened in the past.